With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway from Miami. This will be taken very short. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. The first down run not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. And yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine. Jones, they set up the screen to Bo. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Now Jones. It's caught. Jones. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 18 yards and a first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. 41 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. So they get the ball on the opening drive. They take it in for the score. And how about setting the tone right away? Everyone talks about wanting to do that, but you always hear it in every locker room. First five minutes of the game, who's going to set the tone? Who's going to take control? guess who just did well now on the next drive you, you, when you score that quickly or you're scored that quickly against probably feel like you need to respond yeah without a doubt in other words you've actually put the pressure even more so on your opponent let's go Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. Now it's Gurley. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Mike 50. Hey, Wahoo! Back to throw here. Man open, it's Moss complete. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. 
It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Out of the gun now on third down. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, 33 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be taken short. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Jones, operating from the gun. It's Kelsey on the ground. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Come on, set. AT Gator. He can't hit. He's not going to get me. Jones now to throw on third down. And that's complete. It's green here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing Jones. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Now Jones to throw again. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 43. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 43. These two teams all tied after one. Here we go. Two times, two times. They run on first down with Jackson, and he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Second and nine. Jones throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 31-yard line. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Tighten up, tighten up. Top six, six, bullet five. Ready, ready? On first down, Jackson. Cameron Hayward in on the tackle. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for them in that situation. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Operating from the gun, Jones looks to throw, fires right side, and that's going to be incomplete. 
The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Jones throwing on fourth down. They'll get it in the hands of Clark, complete. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. Well, certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got Let's to go. make sure Let's that go. they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through him. A gain of three, second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. It didn't happen on that play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up, it's seven. We remind you that coming up in two minutes time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Gets past one man. And a six yard gain gets him right around the 43. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the play. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. 22 yards. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Inside of a minute left in the half. Does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. Caught by Jones. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Julio Jones, 75 yards, as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. 
The extra point splits the uprights. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. One play has them up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Mike 61, match box, lights. Hurry up. They're going to look to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Deion Sanders. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Time here for likely a couple of plays if they want it, but with the field position what it is, maybe better suited to just sit on this one? I'm with you totally. I would sit on it and get into the locker room and, and start over. But if they do decide to try and make a play, we know what the basics are. You run draw, you run screen. I would maybe run a little swing pass and try and get my lineman out in space and see if they can chop a hole into the secondary and see if he can run a little bit. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. Here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up a run the dark ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. They'll run on first down. Dickerson, and very little daylight there. They'll get a couple up to the 44. They'll keep it on the ground. Dickerson. And he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. A big play there for the Dolphins. 43 yards on the ground. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. 
A field goal would get them the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Back to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. DeAndre Hopkins. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far as his guys are able to regain the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be taken very short. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. On the draw, here's Jackson. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. J.J. Watt makes another tackle there, and, and it's for a minimal gain. And let's face it, if that's all you're going to get running the ball, you're not going to have much success against him and his team. Or, yeah, you better find a way to go around J.J. Watt, which isn't easy to do. It's really not, because you've got to try everything. Can you go around him? Can you go by him? Can you influence him to get him out of position so maybe you can wall him off? He's a really sharp, intelligent player, as well as a physical specimen. 11 yards there, first down from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. On first down, it's Jackson. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, Creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. On third down, Green. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football, caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. Check three, check three. X3, 218, jump. Throwing on first down, Jones. His throw caught at about the five. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. You can't block me. You can't block me. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Go team, spill. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines. as extra. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. 
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive helmet. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to the ground, this time with Gurley. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They'll look to throw. It's complete to Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards that time. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Again they run with Gurley. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now Gurley. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. And a give this time to the tailback. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Watch out, watch out. Yo, yo, They'll set up to throw. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. Justin Tucker on for the field goal. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead. But they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. On second down. It's green. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He'll look to throw. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. 
He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little Mike bit dinged 50, up Mike here, 50. or is he just hey, check, off check. just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back receiver, in this situation. Receiver, He'll need to. Alpha. to throw. Green brings it in. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. They'll look to throw. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. He finds Hopkins complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. timeouts remember so this is going to have to be a delay so that'll bump it back to a first and 15. well going into the final play of this game they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end but they couldn't get it done however we were treated to really a spectacular affair even though they didn't finish it off you're exactly right they took us down to the last play we're still you're wondering could it happen possibly even though we both knew it was a long shot So that'll do it from here for Charles Davis and the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com slash Madden. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.